Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be making something terrific for this gorgeous weather and that is going to be aubergine carpaccio. So, let's get into it. Alright you guys, so this recipe is going to be really, really simple. All we have to do is take our gorgeous aubergines and we need to char them. I'm not crazy, I promise, this is just the way it is. If you've got a gas stove, you can just turn it like all the way to high. Just put your aubergines until they're charred. And um, that in theory would take something like between 10 and 15 minutes, like depending on how strong your heat is. In my case, I've got induction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my gorgeous aubergines <laughs> and go outside to my grill. I'm going to char them and then it's just a simple of just waiting like between 5 and 10 minutes until they get cold and you will see the magic that we're going to get after. I'm going to be using my grill to char my overchain so all I have to do is turn this like on high heat, throw this bad boys in here and I'm just going to leave them there. And remember to every couple of minutes to just turn them so it cooks evenly. So I'm just going to leave them there, close this, and check in a couple of minutes. Okay, okay, okay. So, as you can see, this is already finished. And this look gorgeous. This look absolutely amazing. Like, if I push them a little bit, like, you can feel when they're ready because they become very, very soft. All right, so these are bloody hot, right? So, all I'm going to do is grab a knife. You have to be very, very careful right now. So, come, 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 check this out. If I open it, you're going to see all that steam just coming out. And, are you ready? Are you ready? Look at this. Everything is cooked beautifully. We're going to carve this once it gets a little bit colder, so, you want to grab your knife, put a little bit of pressure, and just go all the way through. So, look at that gorgeousness. Come on, it does not get any better than this. So all we have to do right now is just wait, because if we, if we like plate once this is hot, everything is going to cook a little bit and we don't want that. So, we're just going to let this rest for, I would say like between like 5 and 8 minutes. We've waited between five and six minutes, so now it's time to start carving our gorgeous aubergine. We're just going to try to carve all this beautiful meat. Don't be scared if you see like a couple of black parts because that that's going to bring a little bit of that smoky, gorgeous flavor. As you can see, something like this. This is all you want remaining, just the skin. And you're going to repeat the same thing for the rest of the aubergines. So, my aubergines are already good to go. They look gorgeous. They look absolutely gorgeous. So now, I'm going to add my tagine. So just spread it all over your aubergine, something like this. Now, it's time to add our olive oil. Now, I'm going to grab a mortar and I'm going to take my gorgeous pistachios. And I just want to make them very, very rough because I want to keep the flavor and the shape of them throw them all over the place. So, I'm just going to open this real quick. So for that, grab a knife, open it like so. All right, so now that these guys are open, I'm just going to grab my knife and give it a spank. And then you're going to get all these beautiful seeds. So you have to be careful when you spank it so you don't cut yourself by accident or something like that because that, I wouldn't be that great. I'm just going to grab my chives and a pair of scissors. It's going to look a little bit wild, a little bit fresh with all these cuts. It's going to look like a gorgeous explosion. So now that this is ready, I'm going to grab my feta and just sprinkle it, just like this. My beautiful basil leaves and just sprinkle it around. Let's add some salt and pepper. All right, you guys, so there you have it. Look, this looks absolutely gorgeous. I was really, really proud of the way it looks, and I'm pretty sure it's going to taste amazing as well. So, all we have to do right now is like, I'm just going to make a couple of pita breads, and then this is going to be good to go. Remember, if you like this video, 
do make sure you go pa lang sundan the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!